So, all right, Team Thrive, this is our team call. So a couple weeks ago, we decided to transition and we are just us now, right? So we have kind of broken away from our larger team and we are hosting our own team call, which is super exciting because we get to have whoever we want on the call, like Trey. So, um, which is so awesome. So this is our guest week and I asked Trey to be um, our first guest ever. Do you feel special? Like our first guest ever? on Thrive, and because I get to guest speak on his team a couple, was it last month? Was it before Summit? I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and it was just an incredible experience, like, to share with them and to interact and ask, answer questions and everything, and I just love Trey's energy, and I love his story, and I'm not going to take anything away from him, but, you know, we were talking today, I had a, I had a coach come to me and say, you know, this just isn't working. You know, I've been doing this for five months and it's not working. And I was like, wow, I mean, five months, you know, that's, um, who can say that everything just takes off that quickly? I asked Trey today, like, how long have you been a coach? He used some of your stats. And he, I was like, I was a discount coach first. And then I just decided to, you know, do this thing. And he's hit Success Club 28 months in a row, you guys. But what's more important, and I, I know Trey's going to talk about this because this is his heart, is that I'm reading, you have helped six people fire their bosses. Like, that's life-changing. And not only that, his girlfriend, Callie, is going to fire her boss next week. I know, right? <laughs> so, he's so excited. And that is what is so important right here are the lives they get to be impacted because you decided to make this discount thing a business thing. And it didn't happen overnight. Like, you didn't go, oh, this didn't work for me three months in. I'm out. Um, Trey is also a five-star qualifying diamond, which is awesome. So he's on track to, like, you know, be elite and stuff and, you know, earn free trips and stuff and <laughs> free rooms on big cruise ships and stuff. So I know, and, you know, Tara does something cool. It's not only an individual change, like one person didn't fire the job. This is a whole family impact, you know, sometimes. And so I'm super excited, and Trey was like, what do you want to talk about? I was like – talk, just share your heart. You know, our team is all about story. That's something I am super passionate about is sharing my story. So I try to tell my coaches, get in touch with your why and share you, anything about you. And even the things you think are ugly and gross and like that someone won't like, no, you've got to share that stuff. You've got to share those broken pieces and show how they come together to create this awesome thing that you are now. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to turn my video off which is hard for me to do. And I'm totally going to give you the floor. I know. I'm going to say bye. Okay, guys. Welcome, Trey. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for having me. I've never not seen faces before, this, so this is totally, totally different for me. But um, it's kind of cool at the same time so that I don't, you know, get nervous and all that stuff. But whatever. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. So, guys, I'm Trey. What's up? Thank you guys for having me. And uh, listen – I am really nothing special. I really am not. Um, I'll, I'll briefly go into my story because I don't want to bore you guys. I want to get right to the point because I know your time is of value. Uh, but basically, two and a half years ago, Kaylee um, was a beach body coach, and I had no idea. I just saw these bags of Shakeology, and we I had no idea what it was. I had no idea. I thought it was just some powder, protein, yada, yada, yada. Cool. I'll drink it. Awesome. But she came to me and she said, hey, listen, my crazy upline coach, she's telling me that I need to get to Emerald. I don't really know what that means, but I know I need to sign one more coach. Uh, can you just do it? Like, you're drinking my Shakeology. Can you just do it, man? I said, sure. Hey, if it's going to help you out, that's fine. And I knew, you know, I knew ahead of time, like, dude, I'm going to cancel. I'm just going to help you out, but I'll do it for like two months and whatever it works, it works. Um, so... That night after I signed up, I was like, well, I already spent like $140 on this. I might as well see what these crazy ladies are going to be talking about. So I got on the team call and I saw that these, these really cool people, these really real relatable people were talking about their dreams and they were talking about things that most people don't do. They, most people don't do what's uncomfortable because they like feeling secure. And I saw them going after their dreams and that they were actually making an income and they were actually, and it's not just some like little quote, like coaches change lives. No, we really do change lives. We have an awesome opportunity 
And so when I saw that, when I got on a team call, so for everybody who's on a team call tonight, awesome, because this is what sparked for me. This is what made me always hit, always, 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 always hit Success Club. This is what's helped me help others. Um, but I saw these guys that were going after their dream, and I said, hey, if these crazy ladies can do it, so can't I. And right from then was when I started getting on other team calls. I started getting on YouTube and I started learning. And I, 28 months later, I'm still 20 out of 28 for hitting success club. And I, guys, I have to say, never discount a discount coach because I was a discount coach. That's all I was. And the, I had no idea that this is what's going to happen. I had no idea that I got to meet some beautiful people like you. And I had no idea that I could get paid to just be myself. And that's the topic for tonight. And I want to say that that's one thing that really stood out for me when I met Lauren was that she is 100% herself all the time. Like unapologetically, that's who she is. You can either take it or you can leave it. And it's awesome because the first time that I met Lauren, and I don't mean to be blowing your spot up, Lauren, but I'm gonna. Um, and you guys are so, you guys have no idea how grateful you should be to have her as your upline coach or, you know, up there in your organization because she's wonderful and she's so genuine. Um, I, like, it's crazy how awesome that she is to have as an upline coach for you guys. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because when I, before I even met Lauren, I was like, wow, that woman is like so successful. If I had an eighth of her success, I would be so happy with where my life is going. And so I brought my parents to Cancun. These guys, my parents were the biggest disbelievers in what I was doing. And I say that because I left a job where I was going to get paid pretty good bucks. I was going to have pretty good retirement and pretty good benefits. And I decided to go the beach body route and totally say, no, I don't want that. I'm going to go towards this. And so one of the biggest things that I could do for my parents was I brought them to Cancun. I brought them to the trip that Beachbody has every year. And um, it was the most amazing thing. And one of the things that I did with them was I brought them to a Sean T live workout. And when the first thing I opened the doors, parents had no idea who Sean T, they had no idea who he was or what a workout would look like, but I opened the doors and like their eyes just lit up. Like, holy cow, these are all really cool people. And the very first person I saw was Lauren Duke. And I was like, oh, my God, just don't look at her. Don't look at her. She won't come over to you. <laughs> and she stood up, like, mid-workout, sweating, just pouring sweat, like, just disgusting, gross, awesome. And she, said, she put her hand out and said, Trey, I'm Lauren Duke. I follow you. And it's awesome. And I, like, I was like, oh. Oh my God. And like, as soon I was like, wow, you're like, you're totally going ape shit on your workout. That's so cool. Hi. Can't believe you know who I am. And like, she got right back into her workout, but I thought that was so cool that I'm a little, little tray bear from little, little town of Harrisville. And she knew who I was and she took the time out of her, of her workout, her sweaty gross workout to say hi to me. And I thought that's so cool. And I looked at my parents and I'm like, do you guys know who that is? And like, no, just some sweaty woman who's working out. What's so cool. And, but anyways, the, the topic that, you know, I want to get into is just being yourself. And that's what I, I'm so glad that, you know, Lauren reached out to me and said, you know, I would love for you to do this call because, you know, it's about being yourself, about sharing yourself and about kind of about being the product of the product and being like, you know, the lifestyle of the product. So first off, I want to talk about being yourself, guys. It's, some, it's one of the, the easiest, but the hardest things to do, I think. Um, and I think that so many coaches really struggle with is how to like find themselves and to just, just be yourself. Like I think so many people are scared of it and I don't know why. Like, and I think a lot of it because is because that so many coaches see what other coaches are doing and they're thinking, wow, okay, if they're successful doing that, then I should do that. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like for an example, you guys see Daniel Natoni fit and funky. She's always constantly doing move of the day. Now, how many of us, do move of the day. And it's like, well, you know, and you, you ask Danielle, she'll say, well, I've been doing that way before I was even a beach bike coach. Like even before I knew Sean T, I was constantly showing people a move of the day, but all of us do that. And now what you're starting to see, like I see it with my coaches is, you know, I, I make videos with a white background, which is cool because it looks professional, but so many coaches think that now they have to do that. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, listen, just be, be yourself. Like, don't copy me. Yeah, it works for me because 
I make it work for me. Like just do something different. Like I, I love that. That's what you want to do. And if you can do it awesome, like rock it for sure. But you know, do something else, do something like that's going to work for you that no one else is doing. Be yourself. And you know, I think that, um, don't shower. <laughs> um, you know, I, I really do think a lot of coaches struggle with it. And I think like they see, like I said, they see other coaches doing something. They, they try to replicate it and you can't guys like, I think, yeah, you can make videos and you can make awesome videos and you can give great content and great value to people and show people how Beachbody is helping you and how it's helping others, but just do it a little bit differently. Like think of stuff that is going to make you stand out. Like think of stuff that's going to make coaches want to work with you because guys, how many coaches are there in Beachbody? Like over 300,000 coaches. What's going to make people, what's going to make you stand out? What's going to make people want to work with you? So if, I'll give you an example. One thing that I do that, um, that I think is entirely different from every other coach is that I will give people um, a bandana because I work out with bandanas. I, I've got like, like sometimes I don't even see it. Like I have long, girly, really weird hair. And so one thing I'll do is say, hey, if you're going to work with me, if you're going to get awesome results, what I'm going to send you is just a bandana, like a little headband or you, we can do like man buns together. It'd be so fun. You know, like that's just something that's different that not a lot of coaches do is just kind of get that little extra, extra say, hey, this is how I'm going to give back and I'm going to stand out from other coaches because I'm going to be louder. Um, but be yourself. And guys, don't be afraid to be yourself. Like we have such an awesome, awesome opportunity to give people that like so many people are like, I'm just so scared to talk to people about coaching or I'm so scared to talk to them about the 20 day fix. Why? Why are you so scared about that? Like people should be begging you to like, I want to work with you. Like you have, you, I've seen you go from uh, have, being dead broke, not even be able to have Wi-Fi, not even be able to like pay your mortgage. And now you're even, even if you pay, if you're able to like buy a coffee at Starbucks, like, you're turning your life around. Like that is a lifestyle that you have changed your life and you're helping other people do that. People should be begging you to want to be working with you. That's an opportunity. Um, so don't be afraid. Like have no shame in your game, guys. Brush that shoulder off. You should be, you should be telling everybody about what you have to offer because if you're not, you're, it's kind of like a disservice of you to like not telling people how it's changed your life. Okay. Let me just, let me just bring up some notes because I'm kind of getting sidetracked because I get so into this. But um, one thing I want to say about being you and being yourself is that no one else can be you. No one else can have the perfect, like you can't have the perfect post on Facebook. You can't have the, the perfect sneak peek post. Like, wow, I see Amy Silverman. Like she has like a thousand people who want to get in her sneak peek. Like how does she do that? Maybe I should do some kind of cool sneak peek thing too. No. I think sneak peeks are stupid because there's nothing. Coaching is not hard. It's not difficult. You're just being consistent. You're doing the same thing every single day. It's not hard to work out. It's not hard to drink a powdered shakeology. It's not hard to read a book and, and just build relationships with people. Why would I want to put a sneak peek into that? This is what it is. If you want to do it, great. Here we go. Let's get started. But, you know, what you need to focus on, guys, is just being authentic. Be, a, be you and be unapologetic about you. because that is what's going to want, make people want to work with you. Okay. There's, there are millions and millions of people in Canada in the United States that need your help and they won't connect with you if you aren't being you. So, you know, people connect with me because they like my humor. They like that. I like to swear and they like that I have a lot of energy, but like if there are other people like I, you know, for example, and this is nothing bad. I hope that you guys don't take an offense to this because it's really nothing bad. But for me, like, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be preaching um, my faith or uh, belief in God or anything like that if, if I wasn't practicing my faith or if I didn't believe in God. You know, like I don't, there's a lot of really successful coaches. Lauren, she talks about her faith. Uh, Coach Caleb Thomas, he talks about his faith a lot. I don't, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's not me. But if I were to, I'd be attracting people of their faith. And like, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't connect with that as well. Again. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, we have different things that attract different things to people. So, um, but my point is, guys, is that there are millions of people in Canada that need our help, and they aren't going to be able to connect with you if you're being somebody else, okay? Um, so, you don't need to have great videos. You don't need to be blonde, or you don't need to have a man bun, or, or anything like that. 
You don't need to be in like workout videos or up on stage with autumn calories. You just need to be you. And that is what's going to attract the right people if you are putting the work out there. Okay. So that is what I want to, you know, to really emphasize on to you guys is that just be you, be consistent every single day, be unapologetic. And if somebody, guys, you're going to have haters. If somebody gives you crap about being a beach body coach or being annoying or talking too much about shakeology or how much it's changed your life, who cares? We're not in third grade where we care what people think about us. Just say, just thank them for their, their opinion and move on, block them. Who cares? You got a business to build. If they don't want to be a part of it, no shame, no shame in your game. Um, what else do I have for you? An another big thing that's just kind of sidetracked is, you know, on the topic of being God, um, our topic of God is I want to say, don't play God. Do not play God. You have no right to whether or not someone can hear about this opportunity, especially coaching. Um, you know, what if my girlfriend Kaylee never told me about this opportunity? What if your coach didn't tell you about this opportunity? How pissed would you be if, if they didn't tell you about all this awesome stuff and like how it's changed your life? Like if you, if you, t if you think about your life back then, compared to what it is now, how mad would you be if you were still broke, if you were still knee deep in, in debt and you, you know, you had health problems and you were still on medication and you, you're just miserable and on all this stuff, how pissed would you be if you, if your upline coach didn't tell you about this, you know, it's not your decision to decide whether or not you should tell this about, tell this opportunity to somebody, make them make that decision. Okay. Don't play God. Okay. Show them the door, if they want to walk through it, perfectly fine, okay? Um, so that's just a little sidetrack. I like telling that to people because it is a good point. Like, you should be telling people exactly about this opportunity. Now, let's get into a little bit about sharing yourself because I think this is something that so many people really struggle with, and you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. And it's it kind of goes in with branding and a little bit like that, but real quick, I'll go into it. Let's just say, for an example, an alien were to invade um, – earth okay let's just say that they were invading earth and they we had no idea that we were here but they wanted to figure out what the human species were, was like and for some reason i don't know why but they got access to facebook i know it's like aliens invaded us the first thing they want to do is go right to facebook um they go onto facebook and they stay they come across let's give an example for lauren they come across lauren like all right let's see what this human's all like, like all about okay all right, so they scroll through her Facebook. I'm like, all right, this girl's about her faith. She's about, you know, she won a tennis ball. What is tennis? She won a match today. Um, she likes being her, she's, you know, she, she doesn't care if she wears makeup, which is an amazing thing. Guys, don't worry about putting on makeup. Um, and she's into this workout. That's really cool. All right, so this is what this girl's about. That's what your brand is. That's who you are. So if you're having trouble figuring out, who am I? What exactly can I offer to people? Figure it out. Like, what? Who are you? What are you really good at? What type of like? Like, people come to me all the time. Like, Trey, how do you make your videos? So I teach people how to make awesome videos. Teach people like if you're a good gardener, then teach people how. Like, teach me how to not kill my plants. I would pay you so much money if you could just teach me how to not kill a plant. Oh, Kaylee, I love you, but we can't. We can't. We can't grow plants. I don't know why we have the brown hand or whatever it's called. But you can hear me okay. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's stuff that's about you, stuff that you're good at, stuff that you people are something that you want to become. For me, I like the idea that I could work from home and I could have a, a really good income and I could be who I wanted. So one thing I wanted, and you guys might not agree with this, is I want to put holes in my ears, okay? They're not that big. They'll, they'll go back if I want to. Another thing I wanted is I wanted tattoos because I didn't have to be restricted by a, jo a job where my boss said, you can't have tattoos, dude. Like. Tattoos are cool to me. I like tattoos. So I got a tattoo. That's who I wanted to become. So now I'm starting to attract other people who are like, yeah, like I think it's so cool that you work from home and that you can, you don't have to worry about having a boss and saying, hey, hey boss, can I like take off like a week of vacation because I want to go on this success club trip. You know, like, you know, I hit success club five for like 12 months straight and now I'm a successful legend and I just want to go on this trip on Cancun. You don't have to do that. And you can be who you want. You can be yourself unapologetically. It's so cool. Um, so that's one thing you want to think about is who do you want to become? What am I good at? What can I offer really great value to people um, on social media? 
And you know, who can people know me for? That's what you want to do. And be yourself. You can, you guys, you can be so good at being yourself, and it's so not hard, and it's so much fun to be creative like that. And like, just when people meet you, you're like, wow, you really are a weirdo. Like, you, you really are. You're, you're not faking it. Like, I, I see you on Periscope, and you're still that same guy. Like, that's really cool. Be yourself. Share yourself. Um, two things I want to tell you guys about, and then you know, I won't waste any more of your time. I promise you. But Obviously, guys, that when, when you are high success to the point, it's because you are hitting those three vital behaviors, you are proof of that product, and you are consistent, and you are public with it. So the reason I say consistent and public is because you must be publicly consistent with your workouts, drinking Shakeology almost daily. Like, who cares if you're that annoying person? Well, I, I can tell you about how to share your story, create, like, be good at sharing your story on another call. That's a really good call. But... Show people from start to finish on one program. Like, don't hybrid a program, guys, because what's that showing people? That's showing people that when they get a challenge pack, when they get that box, that, yeah, they get the 21-day fix, they'll kind of get results, but if they hybrid it with size, man, they're going to get even better results. And like, no, you can get amazing results because that's what it's designed for. Like, you're designed to get awesome results in that box. So just show people that drinking Shakeology, doing a 30-minute workout, following a proper nutrition plan from one program that's designed to give you results, you'll have awesome results, okay? Um, but show people that publicly. Um, and show them from start to finish. Like, do that. It, my, one of my biz, biggest business building um, things that I did in the month of February, which got us to sixth place in the Team Cup, was that I showed people day one through day 21, side-by-side -side pictures, just boom. Hey guys, I'm going to do this. I don't give you, I don't care if, if people want to block me. I'm going to let you know right now that I'm going to show you day one through day 21 exactly how you get awesome results. And I did. And holy Lord, was that month like incredible because I was being proof of the product consistently and publicly. People are going to watch you. People are going to constantly watch you if you're yo-yoing. And I'm not telling you that you have to be a certain weight or you need to look a certain way. But people are watching you to see if what you're doing, if you're going to yo-yo, and if you are, what I mean by yo-yo is going up and down with your weight and, you know, following the program, you know, missing it, stuff like that. Well, what's that telling people? That's telling people that our products don't, con don't consistently keep you healthy. So, like I said, doing this additional workouts like size or hybriding a pro program, that tells people that size isn't enough. Do the programs the way that they are prescribed, and that is it. That tells people that. Um, okay, so yes, follow the calendar and show people publicly that what comes in the box will yield results. Now, let me take a drink uh, real quick. Sorry. That's not why I'm actually drinking water because I'm on a program, okay? Um, now, the second thing besides just the program and Shakeology, show the lifestyle. Besides the workouts and nutrition, show the lifestyle as a beach body coach. Don't just show your workouts and your shakes. I guarantee you. I guarantee that people will join your team just to be a part of something positive, uh, some people that who are positive, and be a part of something that maybe because they don't have enough friends. Maybe they're like, I just want a purpose in life, and I don't want to be like the, the military wife who just sits at home, and that's it. Um, so absolutely, you know, if, if people want to join for whatever reason, if you're just but if you're just sharing your transformation, you're missing a key component to our business. Some people will join you simply because they like you. Amy Silverman, I would join her. I have a huge crush over her, her husband or whatever it is, but her paramour, her significant other, because he's so, like, I just love what he's putting out on social. I love him. I would throw money at him, whatever he's offering. Like, dude, show me how to, to get a tattoo. I'll do it. You know, like, that's, the, I'm doing that simply because I like him and I, or simply because I want to be surrounded by him. But Think about why people join sororities or frats. I mean, this is a debate. Does it really get them anywhere extra in life? Maybe, but no. Majority of it, no, not really. But think about why they do it. They want to be a part of a community, something special in a certain lifestyle. Um, maybe, maybe, um, maybe that looks. Maybe what that looks like is when you go to Super Saturday and some of these people that you're close friends and family with like maybe they want to be a part of that maybe they want to they want to um be a part of some something like people spend their weekends instead of going out and just drinking and just getting like, skull crushed like white girl wasted maybe you're just pumped to be on a, on a zoom call with your team because that's that you have so much energy and like you're so much passion and that fires you up 
Lifestyle doesn't mean being in a millionaire's club or driving a Benzie car, okay? People will understand, well, people will be able to understand that you're able to, you know, things like pump the gas. Like, you know, for a huge example I'm going to give you guys, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm almost wrapping it up, I promise you guys, is, you know, way back when, two years ago, we didn't have a lot of money. We were very, very, very broke. And it wasn't because we didn't have a good job. It was just, we were very, extremely broke, guys. I'm telling you, like, when I had to pump $10 into the gas, like, I had to hold the hand and be like, oh, 9.56, or 9.96, one more. Oh, 10 or two, like, oh, my God, no, I can't. I can't possibly afford to, like, go over $10. Now I got to get my car. I got to find, like, three pennies. Oh, like, and, but now... Think about this. If you put, if you share that story and you say, now I can put the handle in there, I can lock it, which don't do, but I can lock it and I can totally walk away from it. I can walk away from it. No big deal. And I can put $40 in that gas tank and I can drive to Missouri or Texas or Alabama or wherever you guys want to drive to. You have the freedom to have that. But just showing that lifestyle, showing people that this is where I started from, where I couldn't even afford $10 to put in my gas tank. And if my handle, if I had, if I went over, I'd freak out and have to look for pennies and I'd be so embarrassed. But now I can totally, since I've become a coach and I've helped people reach their goals, now I'm able to do this. And man, that feels really, really, really good. So show people that lifestyle because maybe this business has allowed you to meet new friends that you never have met before. I never would have met Lauren um, and be a part of something so great. So many people say that Beachbody has gotten them out of depression or feeling so alone, so sh feeling so alone. So show them that. Show them the lifestyle or, you know, like I said, the, the stay-at-home mouse. Show that it's give, giving you a purpose to be a part of something instead of just being a stay-at-home mother, okay? That's what I have for you guys. I really hope that that's helped you. Um, again, be yourself unapologetically every single day, no matter what. Share yourself, share the product, how it's helped you, share the lifestyle. I guarantee you, people will want to join you. Okay, I don't know if you've read the comments, but everyone's like, I love Trey. And I wasn't, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, my favorite was from Tara, because she's like, yeah, it doesn't hurt that you have those beautiful blue eyes. Oh, <laughs> stop <it. laughs> But I think my favorite was um, Skull Crush Wasted. That was oh, my favorite. Oh, Wasted? Yeah. That was <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> oh, even your 10-year-old said his eyes. Okay, so apparently you have some crushes going on over here. Oh, thank you. But there's so many people who are excited about the recording of this call, about this call. And, and honestly, Trey, you just kind of hit the nail on the head. You didn't sugarcoat. I mean, you had people high-fiving you, high-tending you. Um, you know, like, I love it, so it's going to be awesome. Because you just say it exactly how we need to hear it. And I was with you. And granted, we weren't broke, broke like you're talking about, but we were really struggling. And the gas thing w is part of my story because it's the freedom of the little things, the freedom that make the, the, the things that make life just you get to breathe a little bit easier and there's not that weight on your shoulders and you can pump the gas and not have to stand there praying that you can get it to stop on zero and making sure that you got enough money that you can still go get groceries and all that. So I get that. I, I do get that. And granted, my story isn't as you know, dire as you're talking about, but it's that freedom and that you get to do that and you get to help other people have those same experiences and that's exciting and I was totally bawling when you said um, all those nice things about me so thank you very much but I'm telling you I was so excited to meet you after watching your video about being able to bring your parents on the trip I was like I have to meet this guy I have to get to know him and he's just the coolest but Anyway, I, I have notes that I took, honestly, and just, you know, um, seriously, the comments over here, you're blushing. <laughs> oh, who's blushing? <laughs> no, not, Trey's not blushing, your, your son is. 
The comments over here have just been all sorts of thanks and excitement, and I can't wait to share this with my team that you've blessed completely. And I just appreciate you taking time out of your evening and and giving that to us. It really means a lot to me, and um, you know that I'm here to do anything for you that I can. But get really, really, really just get over yourself, guys, and get out there and share you. There were people saying, I'm scared of what? Like you said, we're not in elementary school anymore. We're not trying to impress anybody. We're out there attracting people like us. And um, I'm really hoping you get that man bun soon. You know how you like it? Yeah, you're right, right up there, right up there. <laughs> like, that's why you like Kevin. You want the man, but you're like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, It's 902, my time later for you guys on the East Coast. I want to respect your time. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you online. See you guys say good night. Oh, wait, wait, don't go anywhere. Everyone and do your video. Okay, I want to see your faces. Yay! Here they come. Yes. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. Yay! Everybody, come on. Come on! We're going <laughs> to take a selfie. Or a screenshotty. What do you call that? Screenshotty. screenshotty. <laughs> take a selfie. I love this. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, please do not make you have a beautiful this online. Team. <gasps> I know, look, they're all like, seriously? Okay, everybody from Sarah Bland doesn't, you guys look amazing. Yeah, you look guys at this. Gorgeous. Look at this, okay? We are hot messes. Stop talking because your bubble's going to be on the selfie. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm going to give you a count, so don't say you didn't hear me. One, two, three. I took like seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, my loves. Thank you, Trey. I appreciate it so much. Everyone say bye to Trey. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot, Brad and Lauren. Bye. Night. Bye.